vlogging, and I know I haven't been, but I'm sitting right now at Tweets, and I'm tired. I've been up all day, and I go for, might go for a little bit of nap in that car that I got, like, because I picked up my car today, and I spent time with my sister and my niece. But, you know, this is, it's beautiful out here. Um, I'm pretty good home by nine. But I don't think I'm going to be. Next is the highway. So we'll see what happens there. Because traffic will be horrible on the highway. So. I need to go pick up my car. Let's see you guys. Some more chances you can tell I'm in Canada. I broke my phone again. I don't know if you can see it. Oh man. Oh, I, like, I don't know if you're going to be able to sleep, like, because i got to get home to the kids, and if I don't get home to the kids, I don't get home on time, you know, I don't know, I didn't vlog at all today, I didn't vlog any of it, I just started to vlog right now. Because I'm going home. I'm sitting outside. But if you can hear that, that's just the ducks. I got some really good pictures of them. So, you know, like, kids are playing in the background. I stopped a couple of times before I got here to take pictures and, and everything. And. You know, I got a car now, so I'll be able to go do something. My body just wants to crash. But I can't. It has to get home. And then crash. <sighs> but anyhow. I'm supposed to sit here for a bit. Check my bank at home. It's not people. Ooh, fifty-three dollars. Yay. So the transfer. Seventy.
the bees out this way is, are big. Where I'm from, they're not. They're just little bitty ones. It's weird. I wonder, like, that is scary. I gotta go on my other bank account, make the payment. Okay. So that leaves me a forty dollars. So transfer. I'm gonna have to ask mom for ninety one dollars to do my license and then I pay her back on the twentieth like I always do. Because I have things I gotta pay. Actually no. I only have to ask her for fifty for about forty or something dollars. I think they get paid this week, I'm not too sure. Uh, crazy thing is, is that I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna like, put my head back and just relax a little, and watch the sunset go down, and then head home. Because the highway won't be as packed at night as it is during the day. Because everybody won't, won't be going home to dinner, right? If you don't know. And we got a problem on our hands. We got obstruction that we have to go through. So I don't know if the highway is open on that side. I just want to get home and go to bed. I gotta get home with the fucking gas I have. Actually, got in my car for a bit. What do you guys think? Just close my eyes for a bit and then just relax. Can't turn it on and try to gotta keep feeling it. Scared if I go to sleep and I walk up. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I got two coffees. I gotta get to the highway. I gotta get off for a bit and then get something to drink again. I'm going to the bathroom. So let's, let's just try to make it. And then I could talk to you guys. Dude. Show you the car. I'll show you where I am. It is very beautiful here. I've gone through this town so many times because of where my sister lives. So, yeah. So, I'll show you where we are. Look at that. I'm trying to not get anybody in it. But look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, right? Let me see if I can focus it. 
Just learning how to use this camera. I like how the, I like how the, um, that'd be a perfect picture. Okay, guys, I'll put it back. I'm just sitting in my car. I'm trying not to get anybody in it, but I'm just sitting here in my car. And I'm gonna, um, get moving soon, but I'm not. Because my eyes are, like, dead to the ground. It's not like I have money for a motel, because if I did, I'd be in the motel right now. Sleeping. for a bit and sleep for a couple hours and get up and go home. I got a double chin. But anyhow, this is the this is the side I have. Come on my car. It's not beautiful. Mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. I don't know if I should put my seat back and just relax. I'll watch something on my phone or just relax completely. There's seagulls here too, but. <sighs> I don't know. How far is it to the highway? I don't have enough gas to get home. I won't be going anywhere. For a couple of days, I'll put this one up. <sighs> I'll put this vlog up and everything like that, and I'll leave it at that. But yeah, like I'm saying, I said to wear a tank top that doesn't even fit me. So, this is where I am. where I am. Man, oh man. You know what? I might leave you there. Let's drive for a bit. Then I'll pull over and, and that. I just gotta turn off video because I do not want to be copyrighted. You guys set my Bluetooth up. So we do that. <sighs> Should save money for a motel. We're gonna stay here the night. Went home tomorrow, but I didn't do that. Okay. I gotta set my phone up to the Bluetooth. Entertainment front and center every Friday night. Check the website at loafanale.com to see who's playing okay, this so weekend. You don't have to go far to enjoy. I'm just gonna turn that down. Bluetooth. Yep. So, $51 for Afterpay. I'm gonna call somebody. And talk to them for a bit. Gonna leave you guys there. Don't wanna film it with anybody.
Hey everyone, so I'm really sorry that this video is late, but I got my car, and you're probably going to see in the previous two videos that I've done, I got my car in Ottawa, and I'm going to explain that to you at the end of the video after I'm done doing a car tour and everything like that, but I'm just going to turn, I'm just going to open something, no not that, um, the thing is this, I just opened my trunk so I can show you, this car I got, I got it from a company in Ottawa. I will not recommend this company to you guys because I wouldn't want you guys to get ripped off or get told, well, the car can't come to you or some stupid thing that they'll make up because they did it to me. And um, I had to drive all the way to Ottawa on October the 10th to get my car. And they were supposed to bring it to me. So that is, I'm gonna explain that later after I'm done doing this um thing. I got a Kia Forte um 2018 with low K on it. It has a seven year loan. Um, I'll explain what happened to my last car, and I will share pictures right here when I do explain what happened. Um, I'm not impressed with it. I was paying less for that car than I am for this car now. So that car was um, cheap, but this car is not. So I'm paying I'm paying more money for this car, but I'm not going to complain because it is to get me from point A to point B. But right now I am sitting in it. Um, as you can tell, I'm just trying to get it a little cleaned up so that I can show you guys it and that because I promised a car tour um, and that. I don't like garbage. The, the carpet is kind of dirty, but it's not. Um, it's a little dirty because I've been driving it now for a while. And that, and um, I'm gonna show you the trunk. I'm gonna show you all of them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the outside, and that. But let me tell you something. I will not. I repeat. I will not recommend where I got this car from. I will show you the plates on the back and where I got it from, but it was a bad experience. I didn't get any information on this car. Um, I didn't get anything of the sort because, um, you know, no, no manual, no nothing, but that's what you get for getting a used car and everything like that. So anyhow, this, I'm gonna show you the, the, the whole car inside. So this is the car inside. I'm gonna get out so I can show you it. But that's it right there. So I'm gonna pull, this is the, this is the key to it. I think I showed it in a previous video. But I'm gonna show you the outside of it too. Now this is the outside of it. This is what it looks like on the outside. And I'll, and I'll, when I'm, that's the trunk, I just pumped it open. I'm gonna show you the trunk. Um, so as you know, trunks are supposed to have things for the bottom of it. This one did not come with it. Um, it is dirty because I have been driving it. Don't forget that. But it is red. I'm just going to start opening the doors. And the doors even squeak. Which I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining because of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's my dog right here. I actually scratched it. Um, my American Bulldog that's that we have. So, let's, I gotta shut this. And it has a secure um, gas can, which is okay. So, I'm just gonna put my keys in there. So this is the car. So, it's the basic model. It's the basic model. So, um, this is pretty much the basic model. I can hook my phone up to it, but I have to have a card for, cord for it to go into my phone. Um, found that out when I first got it. It does have Bluetooth on it, so I could talk to people and everything like that. But it came with 105 kilometers, 105,000 kilometers, and it's a pretty good car. Um, sucks on fuel right now because um, I think there's something wrong with the fuel pump or something, so I gotta put it in the shop. But yeah, um... I 
Okay, I'm just gonna put something on. I'm just gonna put you on top of here. There's a dent. Actually, I'm gonna show you the dent. It's on the, um, I'm not, I shouldn't complain because like, it's better than nothing. And yes, I'm wearing jogger pants to do this video. And I really don't care. So, I'm gonna show you the dent on my car. So if you guys can't notice, there's a dent right here. Right here is a dent on the roof. And right here. Now, that's the thing about that car. Now this is the back seat. It does, I have had my kids in here, so my, my son's tall. So he does fit in the back of here. Leaves well, again into it now. But it, he does fit back here, so does his friend and his girlfriend, which is pretty cool. And um, has automatic windows. And if you go into the front, it has all the dials right here. Um, and that. I'm not going to turn it on because I have my radio on, but it is a Kia. And it has, um, it has cruise control on it. I think, yeah, it has cruise control. It has Bluetooth. Um, and that, and then two things for cups, and that, and um, it it's pretty nice looking inside. And then you go around. Sorry, my dog's barking. This is the trunk. I gotta go to the Kia dealership and see if I can get something to cover it. That's apparently the spare tire, but it's not tied down. It's even missing um. A jack that comes with the cars, but I guess that's what you get for buying used. I'm not saying used is bad, but I've bought used before, but I've never had this experience with it. Um, this is the other side, same thing, like the other side. Um, I can lock it from the other side too, and that. And then this is the passenger side. Um, like. Like look at that. That that's a nice radio. Don't get me wrong. That's a really nice radio. When um I don't have my music and then I put my phone right there. Coffee. It's my purse, my Jessica Simpson purse, which I love. I'm a big Jessica Simpson fan. And over here they can um lock the doors. Actually, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was here. And they can lock the doors themselves and roll down the window, automatic windows. They don't automatically go down. Um, the pa driver's side does, but not the passenger side. Now this is the hood. Those are the tires, brand new. Um, I'm gonna cover my license plate. As you can see, Kia Forte. I am, I'm okay with it to a point. But I'll explain it all. Like I'm gonna keep saying through this whole thing. I'm gonna explain it to you when I go upstairs to my room to edit this video on why it took me two months to get my car. <laughs> I completely get my car. They could have given me something different, but they chose to give me this car. So, and I'll tell you in the midst of it on what happened. But right now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna do a little bit of a mantra type of thing and to show you. Okay, I'll be right back.
Hey everyone, you probably saw the car tour of the new car, but I want to explain to you on how I got this car on this Kia Sauté. So I found a place on Facebook, I, pl I filled out everything, and I'm going to recommend that when you guys are on Facebook, do not, do not fall for any of the stuff that's on Facebook ads or any of that stuff, because some of it is a scam. Um, as you could tell, I did get my car, but... There had it was a long two months of trying to get it here and trying just to um get it and everything like that. So here's the story. And you don't have to believe me, okay? You you really don't. But it's the truth. Okay. So my first car I had was a Chevrolet 2014 um LT Cruiser. I loved it. I mean I, I liked it. It was perfect. It was a 2014. It was I was paying three seventy six for it a month, and it was perfect for me. It was perfect for my kids and everything like that. It might have said in any other videos that it's too small, but it's not. So I didn't even have it for a year. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story of it. If it's a trigger, I'm sorry. So what happened was I was seeing this guy, and this guy, I'm going to call him Joe Blue. Oh, no, actually. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to even tell you what his name is. Anyhow, I was seeing this guy, and I got the car, and everything was going okay. He, um, This year, he broke my windshield on my car, so I had to go replace it. I got it fixed, and then he um, broke my phone the exactly the same month in June. And, yeah, it was in June. And then Canada's Day rolled around, and I wanted to go and see him and, you know, and everything. So I went to see him. And I should have thought about it before I did because of what he did to my phone. So what happened was that he was drunk and high. And he decided that he was going to be an idiot, jump on my hood, punch my doors in, um, pretty much did a lot of things to my car, my last car. So I called the insurance company the day after it happened, because it happened on Ju July 4th. And I called them and I said, look, this is what happened in my car. I need to make a claim. And I, I, they sent me to the claim department and my car, my Chevrolet was gone maybe for almost a month. Like actually for a month, and I mean a month. They were taking their sweet ass daily time. The insurance, the people who had it from through the insurance company was taking it through, they, just taking their time to figure out if they're going to fix it or if they're going to write it off. So I had to make a complaint about the adjuster that I had. And if you guys have had this issue, please tell me. Tell me your story. Because I had an issue with an adjuster. I just wanted to know if I could fix it or if it can be fixed or if it can't be. Um, and, well, see, the thing is it took them maybe a month and almost two months because I found it in August, right? Um, that it was going to be written off. Well, that... Okay, I should have known back in July if it was going to be written off or if it was going to need to be fixed and everything so I could set it all up. They written it off because I'm going to show you... I'm going to try to find the pictures of it and put it right here so you can see what he did. Now, it doesn't even look like a human being did this to my car. And it looks like it was in an accident and it rolled over and everything when he did this to my when he put the dents in my car. He dented in the the, um, the side doors, the back I think the passenger side door on the and then the driver's side door and and all that. If you can hear that's my dog. But the crazy thing about all this is that I got the car home. It was able to be driven. I called the pol I, I called the police because he was doing this to my car. And he, um, I charged him. So he's being charged right now with um, vandalizing and everything like that. So he's being charged with that. But he, but he, he's, you know, he's crazy in that. I can't, I'll explain what he's like in our next video because it's scary. But same time, I lost my car. I got it, it was written off and everything. And I was really upset about it. I decided that I was going to get another vehicle. So I tried to go through the original company that I got my car from. I didn't even have it for a year. And I got written off. And I tried to go through the company that I got my car from and I couldn't because, you know, I I don't have good credit. I don't think anybody has good credit.
but I couldn't go through them, so I found this place on Facebook, and it's in Ottawa. And they contacted me, and I was like, okay, well, I'm after, I am first wanted an SUV. He couldn't get me an SUV. So the car that I have now is a Kia Forte 2008. It's a basic model, which is fine. It has 107,000 kilometers on it right now. It came with 105,000 kilometers. Um, it took two months to get that car from those people. The reason it took two months is because apparently it needed, like I, I could believe it needed um, some something was wrong underneath the car on the driver passenger side at the back, and it needed a whole new thing. Well, they could have just switched the car out for another one, and because what was wrong with the Kia Forte, the car could have been written off, and it should have been written off, but it wasn't. So they were having a hard time with somebody trying to fix it and safety it, and. The sad part is is that I kept being in touch and they weren't responding back and it got so bad to the point to where I was texting the guy constantly going, what is going on with my car? Why don't I have it? When is it going to come? When is it available? Like all of this. And well, I got my car October 10th because I had to go get it. Like I had to go up to Ottawa to go get it and needs. And I had to get my stepdad to drive me up there. And we got there and got the car at nine o'clock at ten o'clock. And they weren't even gonna give me the car because the guy who sold me the car wasn't in that day, but he came in specifically to give me the car. And it took two months, people, two months to get my new car. And the pay the interest rate on this car is eighteen percent. I am paying five seventy six a month for it. Practically it's five seventy seven. Um I'm paying that much for it. My insurance is, is at two nine two twenty, um, and that and um, the insurance the company that I got the car for, from I wouldn't recommend it. Um, like I'm not bashing the dealership. It's just the way they did it was on call for. The guy who sold me the car wouldn't talk to me for two weeks. I was messaging him trying to figure out what's going on with the car non-stop and I was like going if you just give me my answers I would leave you alone but I'm buying a car and I got approved for a loan for for this much money I should be able to know what's going on with my car well they should just let that car be written off and I should have been able to get my car get another car on on the same loan but no that's not the case so I went and got the Kia Forte and I have it now as you know in this video but there's there's things that there's a dent in the roof which I gotta find out how much it's gonna cost or I could take it out because I've seen videos where people dump hot water and it brings the dent right out so I'm gonna try that because it's on top of the roof of the car it's not on the actual um, where the engine is it's like right here where you know the thing that covers but anyhow I showed you guys it in the video but anyhow I am so baffled Next time I get a car, I'm going to go in person to apply for it, to get the loan for it, all of that. I do not recommend you guys to buy cars online because you don't know what you're going to get. This is the first time I've ever had a bad experience with a dealership when it came to a car. Um, I like my car. It's red, as you can tell. Um, it's a small little one. It's perfect for me and my kids because I only have two kids. I'm a 15 year old and a 12 year old. But I wouldn't recommend to buy cars offline. If you're going on a marketplace to buy a car, that's fine because you can go see it. But if you can't get, make sure you buy a car that's in the same area as you so you know what it looks like and you can go see it and know what's wrong with it and send it to the mechanic yourself and then take it back and make the decision. Because I've actually done that before where I've taken a vehicle off the lot and I've gotten the mechanic to look at it and that. So yeah, just hold a second, this is my mom. Hi hey, mom, I told him to be outside. Because my car's going through fuel too much. No, I'm not. When I leave, when I turn the corner, the car slows right fucking down. I have to push my foot on the pedal to be able to to accelerate. Okay, I'll call. I'll call him.
Sorry, I had to call my son. There's a big dispute right now with my son. If you have teenagers, please tell me how to deal with them. This one's very disrespectful. Yeah. Grandma is there. Okay, bye. Okay, that is settled. But no, like I was saying, like, I have done that before where I've taken the car off the lot, got the mechanic to look at it, and then the mechanic says it's okay, but then when I go and buy it, it gets to the mechanic, and then there's more wrong with it, too. So I don't know what to suggest, to tell you the truth. But I do recommend just take, just don't buy a car offline. Go to the dealership. If you know what the dealership's name is, and you found it on Facebook, or any of that, um, go to the dealership and say, hey, I found your pitch. You know, you can go into dealerships now because of um, COVID dying down, but... Um, yeah, I don't recommend buying vehicles offline. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you can't tell us what to do. And I know I can't tell you what to do, but I can suggest things. With the experience that I've had with this car alone, because my last car, I never had this experience because I had to pay off the 407 bill and I knew I wasn't going to get the car until I paid the 407 off and the car was already ready to be licensed and everything like that. And I got it three days later after I paid my 407 bill off. So... Waiting two months for a vehicle is not right. And illegally, they're supposed to bring it to you. You're not supposed to, you don't have to go pick it up. And that was the problem I had with these people. Is that they weren't willing to tell me that they didn't have drivers to bring it to me. Because I would have had my sister pick it up. Or I would have had someone else pick it up. But no, they didn't tell me. And it took a month to fix it. So, anyhow. That is my rant for this car, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to look at it looked at. I'm going to see what's wrong with it. Um, I know there's a warranty on the car. Always make sure they put a warranty, insurance, all of it. Make sure they put that on there before you get the car because if you do and you get in an accident, your car is your loan is completely paid off and you don't have to pay anything towards the loan. Because my last loan I had, I have to pay about 250 to it and that's it because the car I only had it for a year and I had it down to eight, nine thousand dollars before, but it was ten thousand dollars. I'll explain that in another video. But what I'm trying to say is that if you have bad credit, I do recommend these places to go through because it's easy to get approved. But if you are looking for a vehicle, please do me a favor go to the actual dealership, look the dealership up, look at the reviews, look at all of it. I am not giving this dealership a good review, I'm not giving it to them at all. The last dealership I went through, I gave it an amazing, amazing one, and I liked it, and I should have stuck with them, but I didn't. And I made that was my mistake. But don't make the same mistake that I've made, that other people have made. If you're a new time buyer of a car, or any of that, redo your research before you buy it. But anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go so I can get this video up. Please hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and don't forget to um, hit that like button, because I know that the algorithm, I can't talk right, on YouTube... Um, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Give me a chance. I, I, I'm trying my best here to record, but I go through slumps where I just want to sleep all the time and everything like that. And um, I'll be uploading, I'm hoping, starting next Monday normally. But this video has been, I've had this video planned for a while now um, to do this tour because I have um, videos of me bringing it to, to me, um, getting it and everything like that. So please hit that subscribe button, notification button, and I hope you like this video. Thank you guys. Bye.